and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you some useful tips on how to set up a vivarium for common chakwalla, scientifically known as Sawamalus Ate. set up a vivarium for a common chakwalla. Basking lamp, UV lamp, hideouts, rocks, wooden platforms, slate, food and water dish. The enclosure has to be at least 4 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet for adult size. The lizard will need a basking area of around 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius during the day on the hot side. The basking lamp should be left on for around 12 hours a day in summer, which can go down to 8 hours in winter. The rest of the enclosure should be cooler, having an approximate ambient temperature of around 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. I highly recommend that at night all the lights are switched off to mimic as much as possible their natural environment. At night they can easily tolerate a temperature of around 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. From my experience I would recommend a strong 10 to 12 percent UV tube running at least two thirds of the length of the enclosure. Humidity should be relatively low, between 20% to 55%. As a substrate, I use a mixture of sand and soil, with a depth of around 4 inches to allow natural digging behavior. A deeper substrate is required for gravid females with laying boxes. Chakwalla lizards really love to climb. So I would suggest to provide plenty of rocks and climbing platforms made of wood such as bogwood and bamboo root. These are excellent enrichment for them. It is also important to put some full cover decorations such as caves, flat cork pieces or any other ornament that provides a shady spot to rest. It is also a good idea to add some plants, which make it look more like their natural habitat and often offers partial cover too. I would also suggest to add natural rocks, such as slate, that radiate heat, as lizards also appreciate secondary belly heat, which will radiate from warm objects. Natural rocks like slate are perfect for this. So I have the artificial ornaments. These decorations can be placed under and around the basking area. It is very important not to put the slate too close to the basking bulb or it may get too hot. So it's best to check the surface temperature to avoid burns to the lizard. Do not use heated rocks as common chakwalas tend to burn themselves on these as they stay on them for too long. Normally, the species are herbivores and they should be provided fresh salad daily. Live foods such as insects are offered very rarely and only as a treat. Their diet is composed mainly of dark leafy greens like kale, chard, mustard greens and dandelion greens. Both the food dish and water bowl should be kept on the cool side of the enclosure to prevent them from raising the humidity in the enclosure. It is very important to clean the water bowl and food dish every day. Furthermore, calcium supplement should be put on any food items 
two to three times a week to avoid metabolic bone disease and more often with sick and gravid animals. Keeping a varied diet will provide your common chakwalla with a good balance of minerals and vitamins. As you can see, setting up a comfortable home for your chakwalla is very easy. The tips that I have shared in this video are all from my experience and knowledge as a reptile keeper. I strongly advise that one makes his own research to take proper care of his common chakwalla so that it will have a long happy life. Thanks for watching Cape Exotics. Hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.